good, Backyard Barbecue and Barbecue S Man. This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Uh, shout out to my man, um, Vimp 33619. Um, I'm gonna cook exactly what you asked. Something simple on the Weber kettle. I'm gonna do some chicken wings, but in addition, I'm gonna try this new sausage. Uh, it's beef with the pork casing. We're gonna see how it tastes. It's from uh, Carol's Meat Meat Shop. I'll put the uh, comments in the description below so you can see it. Um, they location if you're interested. Uh, what else I'm gonna cook? Cook some burgers too, just for the house. But uh, we're gonna get get to it, y'all. I'm just gonna use the Weber kettle. I already got it set up. I got my charcoal. Stay tuned for a video on that, on cheap charcoal. We're gonna talk about that. Um, and we're gonna go from there, y'all. So without further ado, stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me show y'all this uh, cracked chicken. Hey, before I just give away my goodness and my recipe, why don't y'all comment below and tell me what you think it is. And then, uh, matter of fact, I just went over 4,000 subscribers. I'm going to do a giveaway. Tell you what, comment below. Oh, tell me what you think this is, and the person that's closest or spot on to what it is, I'm going to send you something in the mail. Comment below, y'all. Let me go ahead and put this chicken on, and we'll come back in about an hour, see what it's looking like, show y'all, and we'll be on our way, y'all. Giveaway. All right, everybody, man, we back, man. These, this chicken been on for a little bit. We're going to check it. Um, I decided to go ahead and put all the chicken on there just because uh, I know what I'm doing. Uh, I want y'all to check it out real quick. Uh, I'm just continuing to move them around, let them cook slowly. Uh, basic with apple juice, you know, the basics, you know, keep them going. Uh, I don't have the heat directly over over the uh, the chicken, so I'm smoking it, even on this, uh, the, uh, the Weber kettle. So that's right, you can smoke on the Weber kettle. I got the slowest sear. Uh, let me give y'all a close-up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna show y'all these sauces. Y'all see how they look? Yeah. And you just continue to move them around maybe every 30 minutes so they evenly cook. Um, you can see the skin crispy on them, juicy. Yes, sir. And here go this beef sausage I'm about to put on. That's another uh, chunk of cherry I cut. Y'all see, I keep wood everywhere. I got wood in the corner over there. Uh, shout out to my dog, Terry, for hooking me up with that. Let me get back over here so I can get on camera. And then uh, we're gonna talk when I come back. And we're gonna talk about what I got coming up. And then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on here to make the sausage. And then we're gonna go from there. We we'll close this lid real quick. Actually, we can talk right now since I ain't got nothing else going on. All right, um, what I got going on? Uh, Y'all know I just did two cooks. I got another cook coming up for my partner that's flying down from Texas. Uh, he want a brisket and three ribs, so be on the lookout for that. I'm going to do that on the uh, on Big Bertha. Um, just messing around. And then uh, if you want to get on camera, I'll get him on camera. But if not, it's all good. Um, and I got, I got a Memorial Day cook. Hopefully that's promising coming up. Um, hopefully they'll send me nowhere. Um, and I can do that. That's a two-day event. I got another event I don't know if I want to do. That's uh, Easter Sunday. It is a uh, man. Clyde's gonna be there. Everything, man. So they looking for vendors, man. I'm certified. I'm licensed now, y'all. Backyard barbecue license LLC. Um, I was thinking about doing that. I don't know if I can. I don't know. Like that's a whole day of cooking, man. Comment below, man. Tell me what you think. They talking about between five and ten thousand people. That's a lot of food, man. I don't. I don't. And a lot of time, man. And you know, I gotta get people certified food handling, uh, safety, all of that. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. Um, like I say, that's Easter, so that's maybe 20 days away. So I don't know, man. Comment below, tell me what you think. And I got another surprise coming up. I'm gonna tell y'all uh, something new I got. Uh, well, it's not an item, but it's something I'm giving y'all. Uh, so stay tuned for that um, to keep y'all abreast of what I got going on and things like that. So stay tuned. Uh, I might actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna go live on Wednesday. I was messing around. Uh, with the camera, I was messing around with my iMac in the house, and uh, I went live on it uh, in a private room just to test it out. The camera kind of terrible, but I still may go live, man, so uh, be on the lookout for that, man. Maybe Wednesday I might go live and then tell y'all what I got going on, so be on the lookout for that, man. We're on the up and up. Um, we'll talk more on that when I go live. I don't even want to spoil it, but anyway, 
Uh, I'll be back, man, when this chicken is done. I'm going to put these sausage on. I got a couple burgers I'm going to do. I ain't going to let y'all go through that process. We'll do that another day. I'm just going to put that on. But I'm going to give y'all a final picture of this chicken once it's done. And send y'all on y'all way, man. Hey, what's good, y'all, man? This your boy, Mr. B, man. We back. Uh, let me let y'all, let me take the top off. I'm about to pull this chicken. See what it looks like. Oh, yes, sir. This chicken ready to come out. Let me, uh... Give y'all a close look, and then I'm gonna give y'all a tip to send you on your way. Y'all see them sausage curling up over there, sitting out to the side. Smoke sausage. That's the key. Listen to the word smoke sausage. All right. So as I take these off the grill, I'm gonna give you a tip and then send y'all on the way. Matter of fact, uh, here you go. This off the dome here. If you're using a Weber kettle, right, which is what I'm using right now. I started out with the cheap charcoal, but I ran out of it, so I'm using a lump coal now, just putting it on top of it. I take the top off, let the air flow. I got my fans going, so that's like a, a, a speed it up process of letting the air hit it until it catches up uh, with the heat. Um, but I highly recommend that you take charcoal and put it, so if you add charcoal to it, highly recommend instead of putting the charcoal on top of it, because you don't want the smell of the... Uh, Whatever that black coat is on the charcoal, you don't want that in your food, right? So that smell is crazy. So you want it already hot, so you let it burn on this. So it's easy for me to right here, take my lid off here, sit it here till it get hot. And the flame, you'll know when it's hot because the flame will shoot out the top. Once it's shooting out the top and it's ashed over real good, then I take it and pull it in slowly over to the side. This is my slowest sear, right? But if you take your grates off, get you some gloves, Heat resistant, obviously. Take you, take the grate off, sit it somewhere, put it on a plate or something, and then you put your charcoal in there. It's already ashed over, so you can turn around and take your food and put it right back on. Let it keep cooking. That's how you can go a long time cooking, right? So your food is still overheat. Take it off for maybe 10, 15 seconds. Put your charcoal in there. It's already hot, so you don't have to worry about the, the, the smell of charcoal in your food because that's a terrible taste. Um, and then you go from there. So that's a fun fact for the day. Hope y'all enjoy it, man. Shout out to my boy, Bill. Like I said, uh, this one's for you. Comment below, man. Tell me what my next cook will be, man. Like I said, if it's within reason, I do it. Um, I think I'm gonna bring out the barrel house next week, man. If I don't get a comment, that's really, really easy for me to do because I don't have a cook next week. But uh, if it's something simple, I'll do it. But if not, I'm gonna go ahead and bring out the barrel house uh, uh, vertical cooker. And I'll uh, show y'all a video on how I put it together, and then we're going to do a cook on that. So y'all stay tuned. God bless, man. I love y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share my videos. And you already know. I'll let your boy.